Chris Beard. Texas hires the Texas Tech head coach. And Chris and I talked about this on the show before, the fact that Texas would go and hire, you know, little brother's head coach. And they didn't want to do it in football. That's why they didn't go after Matt Campbell, which we don't necessarily know that they didn't go after Matt Campbell. But either way, that Texas, their ego would get in the way and they wouldn't allow them uh, themselves to go and hire a coach from another school in the Big 12 because they felt like they were better than everybody, you know, whatever. Truth of the matter is this. Chris Beard is a Texas alum. That's one way to explain it away, right? The other side is, since he started as a Division I head coach in 2015, he is 142 and 60. That is over 70% winning percentage. Uh, I mean, he's he's never lost in the first round of an NCAA tournament. So that is definitely a step in the right direction. This man took Texas Tech to a national title game appearance and an Elite Eight appearance the year before that. I mean, that's insane. That is absolutely nuts to think about. But the guy can coach. Everywhere he goes, the team gets better from where they start the season until the end of the season. They're just a better basketball team every time he gets done putting together a roster. I think this is a great hire for Texas. I mean, he's already shown he went and hired UT Arlington's head coach as an assistant on his staff. Money is not going to be an object. Like, there will be no issues with that, with this Texas staff. This bunch wants to win, and they want to win right now, and I think it's perfect for Chris Beard. It, it, I think that this job was his ultimate end goal. It's where he went to school. It's what he's known. You know, Texas Tech was perfect for a while, and it's not like he wasn't getting paid at Texas Tech, but the resources that Texas can give you to win a national championship, which is what he's shooting for, vastly overwhelm what Texas Tech can do. It's, it's just a proven point. It's easier to recruit to Austin. It's easier to get players there than it is to Lubbock. Uh, the amount of money that you can get in to build resources and whatnot, uh, build facilities, everything else, Texas is already there. You're good to go. So I don't blame Chris Beard for taking this job whatsoever. Uh, the question would be, what does Texas Tech do next? I mean, who knows? Um, I mean, it's, it's definitely a good job. You're going to be well compensated, and the resources are good. They're just not as good as Texas. So what does their candidate pool look like? And as of right this second, I have no idea. We will probably get to that next week, but I could not begin to to even come up with a list. I would imagine probably Abilene Christian's coach. I believe it's Joe Golding. Um, that might work. I mean, Beard was an alum from Abilene Christian as well. Uh he might have told them, and, and obviously they made it to the round of 32 this year. He's a pretty good head coach. That might work. North Texas's head coach, that could work. Uh, but North Texas's head coach is in the running for the Oklahoma job as well, along with Porter Moser. So who knows? Who knows what to expect from any of this? But I think it was a fantastic hire, uh, albeit an expected one, but definitely a good hire. And I would expect big things from Texas, even starting with next year. I think he can stabilize that roster, and I think Texas is always going to have enough talent to be a threat in the Big 12 and in the NCAA tournament. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.